In this tutorial, we're going to cover how to connect computers, which Map Tools made extremely easy. Then I'm going to show you how you can force connected players to certain views or certain maps, and at the end I'll cover a couple of problems you might have with firewalls or routers. So, getting started here. Um, if you just go up to your File menu, click on Start Server. And you have your username up top here, and whether you want to come in as a GM or a player. You have your default port number, which you can keep or change. The rptools.net alias, um, I'll go cover that in a second. Uh, first, your two passwords here. Uh, your GM password you put in if you want to have someone else come in as a GM as well. Um, your player password is if you want to block your game so only certain people can enter. If you leave both of these blank, then anyone who comes in will be a player. Then you have your three options down here. A strict token ownership will mean that the players can only move around tokens that you give them ownership of. A player can reveal vision deals with fog of war. You know, can the players reveal fog of war themselves or not? And individual views, um, again that's with vision and fog of war, will a player just be able to see what their token can see or can they see what every other player token can see as well? So then you just hit test connection to see if you have a decent connection to the internet, if you can be seen or not, and success, we can be seen from the internet. So then you just click OK. Let's give it a moment and it'll start right up. All right, here we go. Now the server is started. So now for connecting, I'll just go over to my player here, which I have that's not connected. Go down to file and just choose connect to server. I'll pop up. I have the username is Craig. I have the password in as come in. If you remember, that was the password for players. And I'm trying to come in as a player. And then this is the rptools.net alias I was talking about. If you remember, it was tutorial. If you look right down here, it's listed all the different map tool servers that have a rptools.net alias all listed on here. See tutorials on here and what version it is. So click on that, make sure your password's right, and click OK. Just give it a little bit and it will connect and download the map. And there you go, you're connected. That was it. Um, now I'll show you the other tab here. I'll go disconnect from server. And we'll connect to server again. And if you just go to the next one, LAN, local area network. This is if you have any other map tool servers that are up and going in your network. Um, it'll be listed right here. So you see Brad's listed there. So I choose that, click OK. And again, I'll just take a few seconds and pop. There you go, you're connected again. Now we'll disconnect this last one. deals with net, connecting directly with your IP address. So I'm going to go back to the the window that I have my server open with. And if you hit File and go down to Connection Information. See this lists your local area address and your um, external IP. So you could, if you wanted to, you know, Control C to copy it and then you know email it to your players. So then they could do. Um, connect to server and go to the direct tab and well, I've already in there but they could just put that in then make sure you have the right port and the right password and everything you click OK and then, then it does it directly by uh, the IP address and there you go so that's all there is for connecting so you say um, you are connected now and the players are who knows where on the map maybe they're over here maybe there's someplace else looking around but you want to make sure they see you a certain thing so this is the player view right now now if I click over to the GM view, let's say you want them to focus over here for the time being. If you go up to Tool, and go down and you can center players on current view. So you click that. Now when I click back, now I just click back to uh, Craig's view here, the player, and he's in the exact view that you were at. Also, if you notice, it also has, uh, well, that's the player one. They can't do it. Only the GM can. So here we go. Um, enforce players to current map. So if your campaign file has multiple maps in it, you can flip to a different map and then make sure everyone's to the map that you're referencing. So that can be very useful to um, use. Okay, now firewalls and routers. Um, first, you might be running a firewall, say if you have Windows firewall, firewall running or say Norton Antivirus firewall, something like that. What firewalls do is stop other computers from connecting to your computer. So what you'll need to do is go into that firewall and there should be an exemption area where you can put exemptions for certain programs that com communicate in and out. You want to do that for map tool so your players can connect to you. And next, routers. Routers, um, each one's a little bit different, but routers have a built-in firewall. And what you need to do is open up a port. Um, if you don't remember when we were doing connect to server, there was a port number there. So you have to open up that port number for people to be able to connect and uh, communicate in and out through your router with. Now all routers are a little bit different on how you get in and open up those ports. Um, 
well, the, reason, the way I figured mine out was just by typing in my brand name and model number into Google and it came up with some information pages I was able to read and, and figure it out through that. Also, if uh, let's see here, so website uh, portforwarding.com. If you go there, this is a really good website. It has information on all sorts of different routers, different brands and models, and information of how you use those and how you do the port forwarding, how you open up the ports so you can communicate through it. So go there and look around and see if your uh, uh, router and model and, and uh, brand are there. There's a good chance they will be. And then if you're still having problems, just go to the rptools.net forum. Uh, there's a lot of people there who really know what they're doing that can help you through any problems you might be having. Um, also, I know just as I'm recording this uh, tutorial, they've just recently started a very detailed PDF document that's going to detail starting up servers and dealing with firewalls and, and routers and all that sort of thing in quite a bit of detail. So I'm not sure when that's going to be finished, but I'm sure it'll be linked to the main page of rptools.net when it's done. And um, So you can just go to the forums and ask and see if that's uh, finished yet or not. But for connecting your computers, that's really all there is. Um, that tool makes it very simple, and then if you're having problems with your firewall or router, just use those different resources I've talked about. And um, if those don't work, just go to rptools.net forum, and there's a lot of people that'll help you out there.